I stood up to apologize for the unfortunate tumor caused in the university because of the wrong accusation concerning me. I relayed the true position of things that it was one Papa Shewege. Adult men, three class, Uri Tamefa. I know, I believe you still remember Baba Shewege. Thank you very much. God bless you. It was him that asked me the previous Sunday if there could still be admission for his ward, whose WASC senior certificate result was released late. And I told him I would find out. That was the reason for my asking in the congregation if it was possible to give late admission since the recorded enrollment was still poor. I was glad that the full congregation deposition was recorded on video and I advised them to revisit the video and ascertain the real conversation. Surprisingly, the Sahendrin report finally came out and they submitted that I confessed that I was, uh, that they, uh, they were admitting after matriculation. That was absurd. I asked the dean of my faculty, Professor Adai, if it was true that I admitted. And as an elderly person, he told me just to ignore. I went further to ask the secretary of the Sahendri if it was true that I admitted wrongdoing. He simply replied that he just had to write what they told him to write. All of this bothered on integrity. I'm saying this for a reason. I'm not reporting, please. I'm doing this for the reason because I learned in a hard way that the world is characterized by twists and one must trend it gently. I, however, urge all of you in the name of God to henceforth be godly and pious in all dealings with co-workers and students alike. Another blessed day I was just coming out of my office when I met a colleague, an old friend of mine, they have told you he's my friend, they came Professor Baba Baba Olunadi, who told me there was another problem. He said the Vice Chancellor Professor Agwe was so furious and reported me to him as planning to usurp his power and take over the Vice Chancellorship of the University. I told him that cannot be true because I could not even conceive how a leader, a leader for God's sake can think of jumping levels to become a vice chancellor without passing through the ranks. I thought Olunade was joking. He's seated here. If I'm telling lies, he's seated here. But he insisted that we visit the vice chancellor, who he had already told that if the accusation was found to be true, he was going to dissociate his friendship with me. We were together with the vice chancellor in his office when Professor Lagbero in Haltridge affronted me and said it was an old man that came to reveal my secret to him in his office. I told him the accusation was false and we were wondering who the old man could be. I went further to explain that I was still an associate professor looking forward to the day my full professorship will be granted and it will, it will be him who will pronounce the good news. How could I then be so daft to be having a inordinate desire from the weak standpoint? He still was not convinced. And I remember he took the efforts of people like Papa A.M. Lao Shebika, an elder statesman, who was resident near our campus here after his retirement as the first indigenous principal of Baptist College. It was his intervention that pacified the vice chancellor. Uh, Papa Lao Shivikon told the Vice Chancellor not to take full reprisa against me. God again took control and gave me victory. For the first time after, incident, after the incident, I had the consciousness that it is possible I possess the qualities required of a Vice Chancellor and I must not shy away to walk towards our goals in the near future. Recalling my personal profile, I realized that I have metamorphosed from being a ranger, that is a forest field officer. My boss here, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> to being a wood technologist, a leading wood technologist in Nigeria, I give glory to God that 
in this country today, if you're talking of wood technologists, they will not but remember this humble person. Thank you, Jesus. And to becoming a nationally recognized environmentalist in the university system. All of this through the gaze of God Almighty and synopsis of my contribution to the development of the university shall be presented under the following captions. Teaching, research, administration, and service. The courses I teach at the undergraduate and postgraduate level are in table one. Please, can you show them that table one? Thank you. I will not be going through because this is not an academic forum, but just for you to see, I'm sure that you know, the book you know, will probably show you much of this eventually. Then research and publications. My research work has emphasized five main things. One is resource use efficiency. Two is pollution abatement. Three is low waste production. Four is low energy utilization. And finally, worker safety. I have over 130 publications to date. And some of my research outputs has significant, has added significant values to the frontier of knowledge. I am particularly delighted to claim authority. And if you see, I mean authority to the concept of fracture joints in wood materials. Anywhere that concept is mentioned in the world is in John Accordi, and to God be the glory. <laughs> fracture joints targeted rays in wood material. That is area of stress concentration. And that picture shown, shown there shows how the fracture line jumps from one ray to the other. I will not bother you with this because it is not much of your interest. But just to tell you that that is inspiration given by God Almighty. If you want to read much about that, two publications are listed, and uh, you can just visit them. Another attributed uh, discovery on our local trinistic species is the presence of calcium crystals, which was either too unknown and may have inadvertently influenced their choice for oral hygiene. I also authored publications of some books. Yes, author of some books. Three were listed there, but as of this morning, that number has grown to five. <laughs> yes. A brief highlight of few additional works Within my research scope that caught my attention and the products widely and successfully published are listed. Um, you can see a few added works in table three. Please, I will not, I don't want to waste your time, so I will just give you, you will see them in the book, they are listed. Few additional works, or table three, and the ongoing research. I thank God that my provost has told you that my work is not yet finished. The work is ongoing until, until God in his infinite masses call you to the other side of the divide. I am a project leader on solid waste management, socioeconomic impacts of environmental pollution, eco-friendliness of quarry sites, effect of climate change on sources and sustainability of water, and the fundamentals of particulate emissions on air pollution. I was also deeply involved in university administration and services to the community, some of which are listed in table five. I was particularly up to this time, the chairman central examination regulators committee. I have been deputy vice chancellor of this university Director of Information and Communication in this university. Uh, today, I am the longest, uh, I recorded the longest period of service to the University Council in this university. <laughs> I was chairman of the Central Strategic Committee that produced the Bowen University Strategic Plan 2016 to 2025. I was chairman of the Bowen University Curriculum Committee 
members, appointment and promotion committee, mem chairman, environmental committee. They have read those, some of those to you in my profile, so I don't have to dwell on that. Table five actually listed compendium of my administrative activities to the university. I'm, I was also a member of university statutory committees, the committee producing the strategic plan, chairman university curriculum committee, chairman environmental management committee, member finance and general purpose committee of council, member faculty college postgraduate committee, chairman business committee of senate, chairman of the repositioning and rebranding committee of Bowen University. I, my service, I'm using service, go beyond the university territory. I know that at Oritamefa Baptist Model School, I have given a lecture, a validity lecture on resource to triumph. Uh, that was at Ringro de Bado. And also at the Baptist Seminary, MBTS, I gave a convocation address there, once at the 116 MBTS graduation ceremony. Uh, to, that is to people that have received their doctors of, the, of theology and things like that. So God has been using us. And he has also honored us tremendously. Part of the honors was that I was a fellow of Salzburg Seminar for One Foreign Environment. I was a member of the New York Academy of Sciences. I was listed in Marquis Who is Winning the World from year 2000, and, year 2000 to date. I've been fellow Science and Technology Agency of Japan, fellow African Scientific Institute, fellow Forestry Association of Nigeria, member Society of Wood Science and Technology, member Forest Products Research Society, member African Forest Forum, member International Society of Tropical Foresters from 1990 to date. I actually received an appreciation award for distinguished service at the College of Engineering and Architecture, Washington State University at Pullman, Washington, USA. I'm also a member of the university National Universities Commission Accreditation Team to Federal University of Agriculture, that's at Makodi. I've served as external examiner for PAD thesis defense, wood products engineering, PAD thesis defense, forest resources management, also wood technology program of FUTA, and uh, some other places. I have served as external examiner for M field thesis defense at the University of Ibadan. Also, I am an assessor for candidates for the rank of professor in many universities in Nigeria and other West African countries. By the year 2003, I won an international travel grant to Austria. It was the first travel fellowship award to Bowen University graciously awarded by Chief Lade Giabide Mbadamosi, formerly of Union Bank, Lagos, for a certificated environmental fellowship, which was organized for leaders with global perspective on environmental dialogue and public policy at the Scross Les Prodon at Salzburg. I don't know if many of you know Scross Les Prodon. That was where the popular sound of music, you know, was organized, and it's a classic one. I also secured an AFONEC grant as leader of an international research group. I won that grant two times. I led projects, tuning up to $69,000 in one case, to $78,000 in, in another case. And members of our, my team, some of them are seated here looking at me. Uh, to the glory of God, I was their leader, a humble leader at that time. Uh, to those of you who we did the job together, I thank you for your support. It has been a success. It is on record that the Afone grant was instrumental to the first, first domiciliary, domiciliary account for Bowen University. Go and check it out.
in the year 2004, Senate approved a rebranding of the BSC Forestry and Wood Technology Program to BSC Environmental and Resource Technology on my submission that the wood technology model was virtually unrealistic in the then non-technology setup like Bowen University with no commensurate physical and mechanical facilities, but that the forestry component could be enhanced with contemporary environmental drive worldwide, which can be well managed. The program then experienced improved subscription while the arrangement lasted. The Bowen Journal of Agriculture under my watch produced five volumes, two issues per volume consistently without gap, also without taking money from the university. The journal ran on paid charges, was accepted internationally, and put online through Agile, which is the African Journal Online. Output from the journal was showcased in many other universities, to many other universities at a research fair held by NUC at the International Conference Center in Abuja 2005. Why publish articles from the journal? was used to promote people, even to Professoria Keda, in many high-ranking universities in Nigeria and abroad. Subscription from the journal came from the United States, Australia, Europe, India, Africa, and so on. While published volumes of the journal are repository in frontline university libraries in the country. A few years in Bowen University, I was making good progress and I became the first dean of students, as earlier mentioned. The prestigious African Research Grant took me to several African states, including Ghana, Cameroon, Kenya, Ethiopia, and so on. I was given campus residence as dean of students and had rooms to share some of my, with some of my fellow lecturers in the faculty. Notable among friends and lecturers that I gave opportunity to hang around with me then while they came, Baba to the Olunladi. I told you he is now a popular man with me. Mr. Solomon Lanidi, now a professor. Mr. T. Lawa, now a professor. The, the last two are relatively younger and agile, and they used to accompany me to the students' hostel at night to relate with them and check the students' welfare. Upon completion of three years as, today, as dean of students, the university administration took over my campus residence, and the Kinolunlade worked out an arrangement for all the aforementioned lecturers to occupy a four-bedroom apartment along the way to the general hospital in Iwo. I was promoted the first Bowen University homebred professor in the year 2006. Thank you very much. I was agile and active in enlightenment seminars and campaign to encourage the community on environmental stewardship. Notable faculty seminars I gave included global advocacy and sustainable development from Rio to Johannesburg in 2004, ethical considerations in clean technology management in 2012. I therefore became the first academic staff in the university to be invited on sabbatical leave after seven years of service to head a department of forestry at the University of Technology, UNITEC, that is laying in Papua New Guinea of the South Pacific region for the 2009-2010 session. It was at PNG that I wrote my inaugural lecture. Other highlights of my follow period in PNG include serving as head of department and I remember ushering the graduating class of that session to be accepted by the University Council during their convocation ceremony. Two, rendering a farewell charge to the graduating class of Timber and Forestry Training Center lay. Three, receiving a travel grant of $7,000 from Unitech in support of my visit to Kenya to present a turnout of my research work. My wife also visited for some time to support my sabbatical venture. Church ministration experiences and involvement. I preached in many stations in Lay, and I remember clearly a day 
when Reverend Tobin invited me to preach at his church, after my ministration, which was highly applauded, there was an unusual rainstorm that night, and a miracle of a big tree uprooted beside the church became a talk of the town. Church members started insinuating that it was the advent of that foreign professor and the power of God in him that uprooted the tree without causing any harm to the church infrastructure. <laughs> Glory to God. There also came a time when our church pastor Tobin was seriously healed and all the available medical services in the hospital will not suffice unless they fly into neighboring Australia. The pastor requested that I be invited to pray for him, which I did, and he received an instant healing. Indeed, God is marvelous. God is very marvelous. I exercised faith, and he glorified himself. A demonstration that God can use even the weakest vessel to him be all the glory. Value change, they say, often starts with an individual. God himself made a humble leader out of me, and I'm very grateful. Teaching in the university system, I know and realize that it's very practical, activity-based, experiential, and ICT-supported. On my return from sabbatical leave, the university gave me another assignment as the Director of Information and Communications Technology in the year 2012. My predecessor, however, cast doubt about my capacity to occupy the position and perform, but I did my utmost best to improve the internet fiber network for the university community during my tenure, which lasted from March 2013 to July 31, 2017. Let me talk briefly about my inaugural lecture. As earlier mentioned, I wrote the lecture, I wrote, I wrote the lecture uh, titled Bastion of Green Advocacy, Our Forest, Our Welfare, and the manuscript was completed by the year 2010 when I returned to base, that is to Boa University. I applied to the, to the, to the university management on arrival to deliver the lecture when a contend arose on whether the university was ripe enough to give an inaugural lecture and we should be given the opportunity. Apparently, there were older professors recruited from other universities that have not given their inaugural lectures, and the vice chancellor library felt that they should be given the opportunity to render theirs first. A Senate committee was then set up to prepare guidelines for Bowen University Lecture Series chaired by Professor D.S. Zebaye, and they came up with recommendations that alphabetical listings of professors and faculties also listed in alphabetical order should guide the selection of who should be allowed to present regular lectures. The conundrum took almost two years to resolve, and to the glory of God, I was given a slot to present the maiden inaugural lecture of Bowen University on Thursday, 22nd of March, 2012. Thank you so much. The event was attended by pressmen and eminent dignitaries, including Obas and chiefs, the Nigerian Baptist Convention President, Reverend Dr. Shukwai Okule, the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council of the University, Papa Dr. Dikin Onosodi, Professor Mrs. Okedara, of course, members of Orit Amefa are always there with me. Thank you, my family. Thank you very much. It was indeed a glorious occasion to showcase the arrival of Bowen University as a citadel where active research and delivery of outputs are encouraged. You can never go wrong doing what is right. As the first inaugural lecturer in the university, I have taken both steps to embrace and promote intellectualism with responsibility and character. I have moved in the right direction and prompted others to follow without missing the mark. And today, 11 inaugural lectures have been delivered at Bowen University. <laughs> Glory to God. 
Thank you for that. Uh, I don't mean to bore you, please, but there are certain essentials. Let me talk a little bit about my membership of the University Government Council. I recognize that the charter for enabling law of a faith-based university is unique and have implications for governance structure, funding, appointment of principal officers, and the critical relationship between the council management and the church comes into play. Universities established by churches are no doubt some of the best worldwide, sometimes small in size, but global in outlook, and the good governance structure and provision guarantees success and a short path to excellence. By popular choice, I secured election two times as congregation representative in council from 2003 to 2008 and then from 2008 to 2012. I also became a statutory ex officio member of council by ascending to the post of deputy vice chancellor in 2014. The following is a picture of, of the author as a member of the second provisional ruling council and task force. Ah, please look at that picture very well. And you can see our chairman, the pro-chancellor in the middle. You have the opportunity to see him physically today. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and thank you for honoring my, my request. Um, that was the council that metamorphosed into real Bowen University Council in 2003. I was a member of the council sent to Shobo to resolve the Bowen University Ogun Ogun Saka, when Chief Ogun Ogun of Iwo was venturing and insisting that the university should allow a mosque on campus. This was part of the 15 challenges in the university as some of the admitted Muslim students, including two of Ogun Ogun children, were asking for religious freedom that could not be granted in the Baptist University. The then governor Yilola of Osho State had to wade into the matter and as part of corporate social responsibilities, the University Council sent some of us to resolve the issue which was successfully contained. By the time I completed my time in Council by December 2022, last year, I was acquitted with honor and remain the longest serving member of that Council today. Thank you very much. Campus beautification. I was inducted into environmental consciousness by an Indian philosopher, Sandala Bahuguna, in that picture. That was me in 1986 as a graduate student at Sony Syracuse when I attended an environmental seminar at Thompson Island near Boston, Massachusetts, USA. And as part of my environmental stewardship, and concern for Bowen University, I could not stand seeing the campus looking unattractive with unordered landscapes. So by 2003, I organized a planting of edges of flower around the Dame Faculty of Agriculture. And I enjoyed the support, active support of Mr. Dr. Gunia, in particular and the agricultural students for the exercise done free of charge to the university. The faculty moved to the permanent site in 2010, and by 2014, the need to have some shade trees and socializing ground for students around the faculty was recognized. I also led a good number of the faculty staff to establish parts of Terminalia to Mentosa around the buildings. In the year 2019, the Koyi Road in Bowen University, which is the main entry channel, was not appealing to the side. I was able to organize three planting exercises supported by the university and led the, and led the establishment of the Green Corridor, the Green Corridor alley that beautifies that uh, corridor today. The Green Corridor entering the university has been fully planted and maintenance activities put in place. I also started the same year, 2019, the establishment of the Rectangle of Indigenous 
tree orchard where eminent dignitaries to the university were made to plant commemorative trees in their honor for posterity values. At this time, I want to recognize my boss, Prince Asafa, please, with all respect, I want you to be recognized. Thank you so much. God bless you. He was my boss in the civil service, and he has not ceased mentoring me up to today. He follows me everywhere I go, and to God be the glory. You will make no person. Thank you. He was the one that muttered to me that why don't you establish commemorative planting sites in Bowen? And I discussed with the management, and the idea was in buy. So all the things, the trees you are seeing today is the offshoot of the inspiration that came from my boss. Thank you very much, sir. A 2.5 hectare rectangle of indigenous species arboretum was inaugurated, and those who planted on that site at the time I served as deputy vice chancellor of the university included, among others, every member of the university council on which I served, led by Dickin Wally Awudwegunde, president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, president of the African Development Bank, RITA Secretary General Dr. Ontario Sagenga, Dictator Joan Ayo, then chairman of Federal Civil Commission and current pro-chancellor of Bowen University, two other four former pro-chancellors. I wrote Dick King Professor, he is now Pastor Professor E. E. Adebowali. <laughs> pastor. Thank you. He's always here. The interest of the university is paramount and is always following us around. God bless you, sir. Also, Dick King. Professor Ayo Gunkule, they visited the university in the year 2019 and they have their own plants. All those plants label after them inside the rectangle. A total of 36 tons of trees, including Entadrophragmas agolensi, Family Miliese, Terminalia Ivorensis, Family Combretese, Terminalia Superba, Family Combretese, Mansonia Autissima, Family Steculese, Tripocritin sclerosylum, family Maivese, nuclear diderici, family Rubiese, they are so on and so on. They have been established by the time I completed my DVC tenure. The rectangle was designed not only to feature indigenous trees, but also corridor, but also outdoor recreation and study areas. The picture below, the picture to be shown there is an occasion when the lecturer was planting a terminalia evidence tree on Bowen University soil. Uh, some of you that will have chance to go with us today, you will see that tree being planted, how it has become a giant tree. To God be the glory, keeping us alive to see the progression. So by the year 2022, the planted trees have shown appreciable growth as shade trees in the ecosystem. At this point, I would like to acknowledge myself as an environmentalist concerned about stewardship of elements affecting human well-being in its totality. It has been a pleasurable and gratifying adventure, and I have made considerable efforts to reproduce myself despite enormous challenges by turning out students with master's and PhD degrees in environmental management in Bowen University. The postgraduate program in environmental management is fully NUC accredited with credible and cost-effective subscriptions by graduates of other universities. A major challenge is inadequacy of manpower to cope with the program demands. Right now, the program is serviced by only two staff members, Dr. Gumbode and myself. Please, Dr. Gumbode is the one on the extreme far left, and you see myself there. The capacity of this staff has been overstretched and challenged by the absence of undergraduate program, which was delisted and killed at infancy, that is, in less than two years of commencement. But with the current attention given to environmental baseline education worldwide to cope with contemporary threats to human survival, there's considerable prospect that the undergraduate subscription shall swell 
following any startup in action. I therefore humbly request management of the university to consider improving support to environmental management program by increasing the number of staff to man all relevant areas. It will pay to be a little bit more patient with the undergraduate program, give it another chance to survive, as such investment will be rewarding in a short time. I acknowledge my, my service to the university. I receive an official letter of appreciation that is attached. Oh, that thing cannot, I, I know you cannot read that, but that's, a, that's the letter. It was sent to me by the acting registrar in August 2013 for my commendable and selfless services to the university. In the year 2014, following assumption of Professor Marty Sujo as vice chancellor, the students went on riot, clamoring for better management of the institution as they considered the new administration very repressive. The student action was very embarrassing, not only to the university administration, but the entire Baptist family, being the first private institution to witness such student unrest. Both the university visitor, Reverend Ayokunde, and pro-chancellor set up remedial actions to rescue the university from the menace, and several meetings were called at the university level and at other fora outside the university to contain the situation. In one of these meetings, VCOJO was specifically directed to appoint a deputy vice chancellor. The idea was brought to University Senate, who unanimously suggested my appointment through a popular mandate, and I was given a letter to that effect. I meritoriously served the university as pioneer deputy vice chancellor from August 1, 2014 to July 31, 2017, and an ample record of my service achievement was detailed in my handover memoir of August 10, 2017. This you find in table eight when you go. My mission in the DVC office was to serve God and humanity. Hence, I made sure that all that came across my path for one head or the other received the needed attention while operating within the core values of the university. That picture, you can, can you show us the picture there? It's uh, showing the, the Vice Chancellor Ojo and uh, okay, uh, we, we, we were nearly turned politician at that point. Uh, we were romancing with politician. Incidentally, many of us don't know how to do that very well, but I pretended. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, you see, I think uh, Table 8 shows you the content of the services I rendered, you know, while as Deputy Vice Chancellor, which I served three years before this year left. But the charter of our university says you can serve as DPC first for two years, and if you are found uh, satisfi satisfactory, you spent another two years. So I did not know where to classify myself, whether it's two years appointment or four years attempted. I don't know what to do, but the truth was, it was a comma to us. And uh, wisdom and understanding had to come in because it is noble. When the new Vice Chancellor, Professor Joshua Gumwale, came on board, he reckoned on his own wisdom and volition that he needed my services and that I should come to complete the remaining one year of the second term of my DVC tenure, which I gladly accepted. Indeed, I did not mind working for and with constituted establishment in performing my civic duties and obligations, but to the limit of being relegated to mental ineptitude. I serve honestly and righteously and based on my performance. The DVC, the DVC did not 
even want to release me after the one year deal. And I ended up spending a period into the new session, terminating in December 2019, before I exited that office. I had opportunities to assist him in accomplishing his vision for the university. And apart from the opportunity given to act whenever VC was not around, I made other little impact. The list is not exhaustive. I personally led to the planting of those uh, commemorative plants that I told you before, and also worked for the success of uh, the university as much as possible. Uh, those who worked with me in the DVC office at that time that made the work very enterprising. My secretary was Funchal Yenide, I thank him. My, my drivers, brother Samuel Oyedemi, Isaac Ogunkale, we call him JP, and the security man attached to me, Ben Hana Ugale. To all of you, I say thank you. These were my prayer partners. We pray every day before we set to work. And they made the work so appealing, and to God be the glory. Behind every successful man, I came with my woman again. <coughs> my wife always ensured that I maintain an enviable courage, that my followers copy while they stand out in quality, ethics, and status. She checks out the way I dress before I get out every day. And I must confess that I failed the litmus test many times. She corrected in love, and I recognized her genuine efforts. My children and their families have also been wonderful. They gave me peace of mind, which I so much cherish, and made me to wish them God's gracious speed in their individual exploits. You have sat down so much. I started getting to a point where I'm, I'm feeling guilty. Let me conclude, please. I will conclude. <laughs> I recognize this day as my personal moment of divine repositioning to greater reigns. I feel comfortable to step aside and, ne and let the next generation do theirs. The train is, however, on course. It's just for me to migrate to the cherished coach of senior citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, life in Bowen has been the longest chapter in my memoir. Here I have used the little I know and my talent to serve God and humanity. Joyful it is to imagine that many years to come, the footprints of my achievement and contributions to the development of the institution will still be visible. These indelible positive impacts are to me greater than money, greater than position, greater than fame or popularity. Distinguished guests, I wish to appreciate all the selfless supporters of my progress amidst adversities, those that accommodated my conduct and demeanors over the period of our coexistence in the university. If I have inadvertently crossed anybody by the way, I seek apology. And for those that felt I have touched them positively, <laughs> kindly hold high the torch. Hold high the torch. I ask that we all comport ourselves as good ambassadors of Bowen University and appreciate what the institution stands for and has done for us. Development remains a serious work in progress. But so far, so good. The winning attributes, to mention a few, include inspiration, pioneering, motivation, passion, diligence, integrity, confidence, positive mindset, resilience, godliness, excellence, leadership, entrepreneurship, and social responsibility. Change. Is however a constant feature and essence of human life. Let me refer to Oluko 2016, who said, one characteristic of change is that some people make it happen while others wait for it to happen. 
the letter often hand up being his victims. He illustrated the situation with reference to the choice between a hammer and an anvil, the subject of a song rendered by aggrieved Germans. When the, the weight of the post first World War Versailles Peace Agreement settlement proved too heavy to bear, the Germans decided no longer to be the anvil that is hammered. Rather, they took matters into their own hands by repudiating the dicta, which is a derogatory description of the punitive amethyst imposed on them by the victorious Allied powers. Unfortunately, as recorded in history, the German ultra-nationalistic sentiment and legitimate grievances were viciously exploited by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis with terrible consequences that are still felt today. Of course, change is not absolute. What is dominant in human life is a blend of continuity and change, programmed for effective and meaningful transition. Change confronts one with challenges that often provide opportunity for inventiveness and divine reason for repositioning and re-strategizing. We may have come from different backgrounds and outlook, but we are here together with unity of purpose. We must not be divided. Mark my word, we must not be divided. I honestly look forward to a day when a Bowenite shall occupy the cherished seat of the Vice Chancellor and Registrar. Life is too short, life is too short for anyone to be permanently dependent on others for what they can do. Instead of relying on import substitution, the Mughals in position of authority must defend this estate and stop promoting mediocrity. Instead, ample opportunities should be given to our own products who have the capacity to lead and learn from their own mistakes while strengthening the fundamental culture and core values of the university. On behalf of those that are still here, sorry, let me. On behalf of those that are still here, I may have the opportunity to mount this rostrum in years to come. Let us commit to the Bowen dreams and values, discourage any form of social discord and follow the path of renaissance and revival. In the words of Akim Jeffries 2023 this year, we must always allow opportunities to surpass extremism, inclusion put over isolation, knowledge over eccentricities, reasoning over negativity, freedom over oppression, benevolence over intolerance, good governance over provocation, and understanding over malice. In the ivory tower, academics are expected to be credible, liberal, and open-minded, rather than being blindfolded for political advantages. In the Bible, Matthew 6, 33, it admonishes us that we should seek for the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and other things desire shall be added. So let us not grow weary in doing good, True development is galvanized by people. Let us stop hate and learn to take people for what they are. Attack problems together. Do not attack people. For at the end, we shall reap the reward. Righteousness empowers communities with the right tools needed to respond to fed needs in a responsible and sustainable manner. We must set our university on a sustainable trajectory, and our testimony shall so reflect. I long to see a Bowen University where good governance is straight, and effective service form an integral part of our developmental objectives, and with God on our side, we should consider it done. I have made an attempt in this lecture to refresh our memories about happenings in Bowen University since inception, of which I'm fully a stakeholder. I have let loose some of my personal stories, which you may or may not know. It is my hope that these stories will arouse your awakening to contribute your own quota for posterity's sake. As I conclude my lecture, 
I must underscore that all the attributed achievements could not have come except by his grace. Grace makes petitions to be granted even by unwilling authorities. Grace produces prominence, recognition, and preferential treatments. It gives supernatural increases and promotions. Grace gives honor amidst adversity. It gives increased assets, unusual victories, and above all, rest of mind. All of this, God has graciously granted me, and I'm very grateful. On my part, I have enjoyed the Lord's goodness, mercy, and compassion. I have put in what I consider to be some credible efforts. I have made modest achievements, and can boldly say I have finished strong. So far, so good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. for coming. God bless you individually and collectively. God bless Goa University. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. I think we can keep clapping in appreciating God in the life of this erudite scholar. Let's keep appreciating God in his life. Indeed, it's a wonderful time to listen to him. Thank you very much. We may have our seats. The word of Emiliano Roosevelt says, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The summary I can I do from this lecture today is that indeed, believing in our dreams, regardless of circumstances, is germane towards achieving our goals in life. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to invite us again to our feet. Even as we actually confirm the title of the lecture today that says, so far so good, the echoes the calumet. I searched through the dictionary and realized that the calumet we are actually talking about is making a joyful noise to some instrument. Friends, senior colleagues, erudite scholars, fathers and mothers, join me as we make a joyful noise to the Lord in appreciating what the Lord has done in the life of Professor John A. Akande. Can we do that please? At the count of three, Whatever way you think you can appreciate God in the life of this man, kindly go ahead. One, two, three. Let's make that joyful noise. Let's appreciate God. Thank you very much. We can do better. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You will also be celebrated in Jesus' name. Your own times of celebration will come. More than this, Nations will gather to celebrate you. Nations will stand up to appreciate you. The Lord bless you. Thank you very much. We may have our seats. Quickly, let me invite the Provost College of Agricultural Engineering and Science in person of Professor Lushola Komolafe to kindly come forward as we present a token of love to the presenter. You're welcome, sir.
Please, can we have a microphone so that you can stay here, sir? So that you can take pictures. Right. Um, Professor Akande, please, can you come forward? You will remember when he started. Uh, I came in, in fact, less than a week ago as the provost. Somebody has been there before and started the whole activities before I take him. So I think it's fair that we recognize him and uh, Representing the college, I want to invite uh, Professor Christian Oshweke to please come forward. Um, please, I request that uh, you print, present this uh, flag on behalf of the College of uh, Engineer, sorry, College of Greek Engineering and Science. Thank you. Thank you, my provost. I count it a rare honor, and I appreciate you. The good God will lift you up. He will honor you, and you take beyond your imagination in Jesus' name. Let's clap for him. My assignment is very simple. And uh, I want to appreciate our good God who makes all things possible in his time. He's the one that glorifies us. He's the one that honors us. And uh, before I make this presentation, I want to tell all our guests, the good God will honor all of you for being here for us in Jesus' name. On behalf of our college, and precisely on behalf of my provost, it's a real privilege that we give you this award, Award of Excellent Service, which today we are recognizing your invaluable contribution to the global goals of our college and the university in particular. We believe that God we embrace you the more. In Jesus' name. My provost, please hand over this to her. <laughs> On behalf of uh, the staff and students of the College of Greek engineering and science, we are presenting this token for you so that you can remember us wherever you are, that we appreciate your contribution to this college and to this university. As the instrumental is going on, I will invite the professors in the college to kindly come and have a handshake with the celebrants. Followed by the professors, we have the program coordinators to kindly come forward, even as we appreciate and have a handshake with the celebrants. That is a bosom friend of the celebrants in person of Professor Nulade. Please kindly step forward to have a handshake with the celebrants as we appreciate God in his life. Professor Aderemi, thank you very much. Followed by Professor Ajayi, we have Professor Emetere. 
We have another Erudo scholar, Professor Adeni. I know how to teach up with you. Yes, you can. I'll teach you. We have Professor Handy, too, from the college. We have Professor Lawal. We have Papa Professor Fagbe Miro coming forward. The man that was mentioned in the course of the presentation. We have the Deputy Provost College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science, Professor Wu Shini. Thank you very much. The Program Coordinator of Food Science and Technology, Dr. Mrs. Makinde. We have Dr. Shegun Adebayo, the Program Coordinator of Engineering. Thank you very much. We are inviting every other program coordinators in the house to please come and have a handshake with the celebrant. <laughs> Professor Fabor, Dr. Fabor from the chemistry department, that's a prophecy. Thank you very much, our program coordinators. I will also invite the members of the high table, led by... Before then, I would like to invite the boss of the celebrant to please step forward. Baba's name has been mentioned in the course of the presentation. Baba Shafa to kindly come forward to have a handshake with the celebrants. Thereafter, Professor B.C. Adebowale will lead the members of the high table to have a handshake and set of pictures with the celebrants. While the music instrumental is going on, the pastor of the celebrant have been recognized in the course of the talk, but permit me to specially recognize Reverend Dr. Diron Adeleke, the senior pastor of Tamefa Baptist Church, to lead the pastoral team to come and have a handshake with the celebrant. I also invite the representative of Iwo in the council, in person of Baba Oloya, to kindly join this team to shake and to appreciate the presenter today. Let's appreciate Baba as he's coming forward, please. Please, the pastor of Orita Mepha Baptist Church and his wife. Please, after this, I want all members of Orita Mepha Baptist Church to join them. After this. Permit me to quickly take this announcement that the Professor of Environmentalist Orita also Orita recognizes Baptist that Church, members of Orita Mefa Baptist Church, please, you are invited to come and take a photograph with the celebrants.
We can just take a little out of it now. We are still going to take group photograph outside when we, the program is brought to a close. We are taking it aside. Okay, thank you very much. Please, because of the congestion, I kindly plead with members of the church to let's postpone our photograph till the end of the program. We'll have the good photograph after the program, please. Thank you very much, sir. and ma. Please, let's appreciate members of Orita Mefa Baptist Church for representing the constituency where Professor John Akande is drawing the spiritual strength from. We have seen that he is indeed a spiritual man and he has emphasized that despite all the accolades he can achieve as an academia, there is still a root in Christ. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate members of the Rita Mepha Baptist Church. Thank you very much, sirs and ma. As we are bringing the program to... As we are gradually moving to the end of this program, I would like to invite the Deputy Provost College of Greek Engineering and Science to please make our way forward. While I also invite the bosom friend of the celebrant, is going to be performing a special role today. And you will agree with me that the role is going to be special because we are going to be having old friends toasting wines together this morning, or this afternoon rather. So permit me to invite Professor B.A. Olulade to the microphone as he's taking on the breaking of wine with old friends. You're welcome, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are really coasting down to conclusion of this program. But then we got to do something. We are going to break wine. We are cognizant. And this is a man amidst us that we are sort of sending off. And we want to pull him out. He said, pulling out, sending off. Call it anything. Professor John Akande is someone that will leave this place without being mentioned. Uh, younger people know how to do this thing better than, I don't want to say older men. Pop it. Let me call on uh, the MC. Come, come and flank me and do it like young people would do it. It has to pop. Before I pop, well, no, don't pop at people. Pop up and don't pop. Yeah, good, the guy is doing it. You see, I told you, younger people know how to do it better. Yeah, the valedictorian, I said everything. People marvel that I keep him for so long as a friend. You have seen the reason. I'm a child of God and I choose my friends. I have many acquaintances. I have many people I laugh with. I don't even frown at anybody. But I choose friends. When I say you are my friend, there's no going back. When I could come out into the open, 
to say, this is my friend. Forget it. I have friends. There are some on this campus. Some of them are not here. He is an enigma. You have heard today, and I know our, our uh, papa in uh, Orita Mefa will start making use of him. He's a demon chaser. chaser. <laughs> but he will not, he, he is, is someone who will keep almost all these things to himself. He's, he fears the Lord. He does not keep malice. He put he is not someone who holds people to the chest. And then we have discovered the, the reason for longe longevity. The two of us will laugh at almost every issue. Any issue, mention it, no matter how hard. You say he kept mentioning me uh, here and there. For those is issues, we laugh. We go for, we don't even laugh alone. We go for, we laugh with all our strength. Because we know in it, God has visited us many times and we have overcome. People ask questions, but I will reply with a laughter. Why is it your, your behaviors are different? Why do you people go together? I just laugh. He say, he's a man of the family. I don't like wayward men. Every 8 o'clock, since his wife left for the United States, he, even when he's talking with anybody on earth, he just excuse the fellow and go in and phone the wife. I thought you were going to clap for him. He's a total family man, a child of and not the type of human being, and I want to say it here and here. He's not the type of human being that will go behind you to spoil you. He has never done it. And that is why I stick to him. And that is why he sticks to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege, it's a rare privilege to break wine this morning. And uh, are you ready? On the count of three, you pop it up. One. <laughs> Two. And you'll join me when I say three. You sing it the way I want to sing it. With a baritone voice, he said, For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. Now, please, you may rise while we do that. Three. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. No. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. No. And so say all of Since it is going to be difficult for me to go out from this podium, reason the mic will not follow me. Ah, uh, yes, Papa is there. We are going to do a representative. Uh, somebody? We are drinking.
to the great health the Lord has given our brother for 70 years and still going. We are saying the Lord be with you. Amen. In the name of the Father Amen. and the Son Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I think we can also reciprocate that within our seats. Let's toast hands. Let's toast the bottle of water we have with us as a symbol that indeed we appreciate God in the life of this scholar. Because of our time that is fast spent and many of our guests that are still traveling back to various destinations, we are going to invite just two personalities to come and take testimonials about the celebrant of today. And the first person I would like to invite is a man that I've worked with this person for long. He mentioned his name over and over again in the course of the discussion. And I want to believe that our papa is in a good position to say one or two things about Professor John A. Akande. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I invite to the microphone Papa Professor Pastor B.C. Adebowale to come and say a few words about the celebrant. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate him. I didn't tell my daddy before, but I have to bring him up. Thank you very much, daddy. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. John, by your account, many people have not been calling you by the bio. I don't know why they are always calling you John Akonde. The Adebayo is very important. Oh, Bayo Akonde is one of my mentees I'm so happy about. Today, he has made my day. Just a few years ago, when he made my day, when he gave the first inaugural lecture, I was very proud, you know, of him, as I'm proud of him today. But one thing that really surprised me is that when he told me that he was giving a validity lecture, I told him, I said, I don't know the culture in Bowen. I said, but in university system, you give a validity lecture when you are going home or when you are retiring from the university. And these days, it is 70 years. During our time, it was 65. And I said, does it mean you are 70? He said, yes, sir, he's 70. I said, are you sure? He, he said, it's sure. Well, you, see, you know why I have some authority on him? Number one, apart from being, you know, a mentor to him, I'm also a Sunday school teacher. So, although he's the secretary of the class, so he can also order me as the teacher to sit down. And I will sit down. But even as the secretary of the Sunday school uh, class, you can see the academics in, in Bayou Akonde very sound, very profound, very thorough, very passionate always there for you. You can't miss him. In fact, a few weeks ago, I have to come in and tell the class that the reason why this particular on the school class is so heavy is that led by him, the way they bring in our members and they socialize and they empathize with everybody in all situations and at your bad days, they give you a sumptuous gift led by him. I said that is why this Sunday school adult men three is unique. And I give that to him. Even when he became uh, the deputy vice chancellor, I was hoping better. But the Lord is greater than us. So I want to say again, Bayou Akonde, I know 
I know you are smiling. But one thing I know about you, I hope you are not going to run away. Because I know U.S. is your second home. But we want to see you more. In the academic sector, in the church, and in our environment. And like I always say, he's indeed a jolly good fellow. I was thinking I invited Professor, I mean, I, I thought uh, Professor Lagbemuru would be here today. Because together uh, with him, we made a very good shout at Bowen University. And for all of you that have come, I thank you very much for coming. Because you have made his day. And I know he's going to live this day for a very long, long time. Bye, y'all. God bless you. God will uphold you. You will still live many years. I ask, I prophesy inexhaustible blessings for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see your, not only your grandchildren, but your great-grandchildren. It will be well with you. As you have mentors, you will also have um, granddaughter, grandson mentors in the mighty name of Jesus. You have done well with yourself. But my greatest prayer for you is that you will make the kingdom of God. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you very much, sir. In the same vein, I would like to invite one of the set of people that worked with Professor John Adebayo Akande at the inception, right from the inception. I'd like to invite Professor Foluke Aderemi to come and say one or two things about Professor John Adebayo Akande. Let's appreciate her as she's coming forward. All protocols duly observed. I want to appreciate God. I want to appreci appreciate God for the opportunity to come up and say something about Oga. That's the way we normally call him. We call him Oga. And he had always been Oga, sincerely, from the beginning. When there was practically nothing, he led us, even in carrying chairs with our head, in this campus. Yes, we followed him. He will be the first one to pick the chair, and then others will follow him. He was one of the 12 disciples led by the then Professor Tewe of Blessed Memory. And sincerely, like Tewe, we always say, I was proud to lead 12 dis disciples without any Judas. Oga, kudos. Anytime we, the younger ones, I bagged my PhD in 2001. Bowen started 2002. And we were all here. We were green. Most things we run to him and Professor Oluladi to take advice. And when we are in doubt, when he seems as if, you know, he does not want to yield, and I have, I have a key, I'll say, but I buy you. <laughs> and once I say, but I buy you, and he will say, oh, Lord, but what do you want? <laughs> then the answer will come. Thank you for being there. You've been a good leader, a good mentor. A teacher by excellence. I don't know what other accolade to use, but we just want to say, because you have started well, amidst crisis, you are finishing strong. We are convinced that we will equally finish well and we will finish strong in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Permit me to invite. Olaide Ibironke, to come and say a few words about Daddy. Let's see the other side of Professor John Adebayo Akande as a family man. 
Let's appreciate her as she's coming to the podium. Well, um, this caught me by surprise, but he's my dad, so I should be able to say a lot. <sighs> well, I thank God for today. I thank God for today because when my dad started here at this university, I remember I also just, you know, I just entered the university as well in 2001. And I remember there was a time he wanted me to come here. He was like, ah, there's a lot of strike going on where you are. That's sort of wasting time. The people that are there would, you know, overtake you again. I was like, no, 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 I'm focused. Let me just, you know. <laughs> but my younger brother happened to come here as well and finished from this university. And it will be, it, I, I won't be adequate if I say Bowen University was not a major, um, you know, something major in dad's life because yes he spent a lot of years here this was where he got his professorship this was where he had opportunities for so many other things met so many good people and even though i don't come here regularly i, I know almost everyone because we, it's almost like a family a family right from you know every time i fight the a baptist church but when university is a baptist university so everything is integrated and you know everything has worked so good I'm happy that um, even though my dad passed through so many hurdles and so many things, he, he was able to, you know, finish here successfully without any problem. And I thank God for that. And I also thank God for everyone he was able to meet, everyone he was able to work with. Um, you're all a part of his life and we're able to make things, you know, good for him, make things worthwhile for him. And um, I use this opportunity to pray for him as well that, you know, after he leaves here, every other thing he lays his hands on shall even possible more than when he was here and this will always be you know he would always reference this place as oh bowen university also had a part to play in my you know the next success that is waiting for him along the line so um daddy i love you so much i know if mommy was here she would have a whole lot to say because even we the children we have a whole lot to say my brother too appreciates you and i know if he was here as well he will have a lot to say um Thank you for being you. Thank you for not compromising on, you know, all your values, your trust, your kindness, your godliness, and, and all. Because I've heard testimonies about you. Even when I'm out there, I'm not ashamed to say, oh, I'm the daughter of, you know, Professor Akonde, even though I know students here. Like, I say it with all joy. Oh, do you know my dad? He was this, he was this. Because I know my dad did not compromise. And I know he's one of those very, very, you know, holy and good people when it comes to values. So, thank you, Daddy. And God bless you. Thank you, everyone, as well. And I also wish you a safe trip back home. And may God be with you all. Amen. Thank you very much. Permit me to invite the Deputy Provost, College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science, Professor Owosheni, to the microphone. And she's come and say the vote of thanks on behalf of the college. Let's appreciate her once again. Good afternoon. On behalf of the college, I want to say a very big thank you for everybody for coming. You know, we thank God for joining mercies to Iwo, and we believe that the Lord will take us back safely. Um, I want to thank the provost, the former provost, Professor Isweke. He started, you know, with the preparation. And I also want to give, say a very big thank you to Professor Komalafe, who took over just last week. And, you know, it was... It was seamless. It didn't seem as if, you know, uh, there was a change in Baton. Thank you very much, sirs. God will bless you too, in Jesus' name. I want to thank all the professors in the college, all the associate professors, all the senior lecturers. The Lord will bless you. They understand why I'm saying that. You will never be ashamed. You will never be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank every other member of staff of the college. Thank you for coming. You know, thank you for the prayers. Because at this point, we know that our prayers have been answered. Thank you for the prayers. And I know that the Lord will continue to answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank the university for giving us the time and the opportunity to hold this program. The Lord will continue to be with Bowen University in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we depart, I pray that the Lord will be with each of us. Many of us professors are looking forward to a day like this. The Lord will keep us. Our own shall also be joyful in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much.
In the same vein, I would like to appreciate the committee that have worked tirelessly to make sure that this program is seamless, starting from the chairperson to every member of this committee. Thank you very much for doing a good job. And to all our well-wishers, those that have traveled from far and near, we pray that the Lord in his infinite mercy will grant you journey mercies back to your destination. We we'll love you and um, we'd like you to explore this wonderful campus. There are a lot of things in which you have to see that you have to take home with you when you are leaving. Don't forget, as I've mentioned earlier, this is the largest Baptist university in Africa. So you need to explore. After this event, you are being invited by the celebrants to the green part at the college. There is an arrangement there for us to dine and marry and as we appreciate God. He's not only an environmentalist, he really wants to take care of our stomach even as we are returning back home. Thank you very much and we appreciate you. May we please rise as we take the university anthem thereafter. Immediately after the university anthem, then the procession will recess as we have entered. Once again, we appreciate the management of Boa University for this opportunity. The Vice Chancellor came in while the program was ongoing. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, rather, came in in person of Professor Ato Batele. He has to leave for another agenda assignment. So we appreciate you, sir, for coming. Thank you. God bless you. The procession now. Sorry, please. I would like to invite... Reverend Diron, a delegate to come and lead us in the closing prayer as we embark on the recession. Let's appreciate him as he's coming forward. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Honor belongs to you. And you have chosen to honor your son. Thank you, Lord, for starting well and finishing strong. Thank you for all the support he had received from all the circles of relationship that you built around him. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. For everyone who had traveled, we ask as we go back, we shall go get back home safely in Jesus' name. Amen. For him also, as he looks forward, asking what is next, Father, you will guide him. Amen. But we know that you will grant him long life, Amen. sound health, Amen. sound mind, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And for Bowen University, our pride as a denomination, we ask this university will always be the first. Amen. The glory of God will continue to shine Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the next few weeks, 
as you receive another vice chancellor, we ask that it will be a time when Bowen University will fly higher. Amen. Staff, students of all categories, you will know it for good. Amen. It will be a time of your showing, Amen. collectively and as individuals, Amen. a time of fulfillment of destinies Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, immortal God. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Amen. be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We'll take the recession being led by the college administrator. We have um, the celebrant who follow the college provost, members of the high table, then the professors. There's going to be a group photograph outside. The professors and the members of the high table will take first, followed by the program coordinators. Then we have members of Oritamefa Baptist Church. We have members of the Hot Student Association in the womb. Then every other world wishes. Please let's make it orderly. And immediately after the photograph, we can move to the College of our Greek engineering and science is just adjacent to this place for a time together. We wish you all a safe journey back to your destination. On behalf of the management staff of Boa University, led by Professor Joshua Ogunwole and the entire management team, we say thank you for coming. We love you. Boa University love you. Adele Barre. Arina Kore Akoyaibi in the name of Jesus. God be this is for the dreamers, the deep thinkers, the inspired. Exclusively for those who dare to imagine and bring to fruition a future others don't. You need to prepare for tomorrow. Choose a winning team to help you fulfill your purpose. Bowen University, Iwo Osho State. Excellence and Godliness.